that happened last month, but police believe they've identified one of the people behind the canine caper who they say had some help. Oh, we can't let this go. Because within these cages, hundreds of pets are hoping for a home. And last month, that included a Belgian Malinois similar to this one. It, it needs to follow the process. It came into it came into the shelter, and it, be, it needs to be uh, released from, by the shelter, not, you know, somebody coming in through a back and, and stealing the dog. Police say May 14th, a man they've since identified as Christopher Fisher Alfonso walked into a restricted area through an employee entrance of the shelter with a woman who they say is Jenny Roxanne Carvalho. At that point in time, one of the employees asked them to leave the area. An hour or so later, the man came back. On surveillance camera, we observed a young male uh, who had changed clothes from the previous um, videos we had, uh, removing the dog and go escaping out of the uh, back exit of the shelter. Police say tips they've received since this video first aired in May led them to the couple's identities. But they don't know why the dog was taken. They do know she hadn't yet been spayed. They could produce and sell the puppy and make money on it. Uh, the other option is if uh, they own the dog for some reason. Uh, the dog was brought in as a stray. If they own the dog, they wouldn't have to pay the shelter fee. Either way, it is stealing. At this time, there is an active warrant for Fisher. Um, Ms. Cavallo is just wanted in the questioning of the dog. And she's just believed to have some information about the incident or the whereabouts of the dog. If you know anything about Alfonso or the accomplice, police would like to hear from you. The number to call, Crime Stoppers, 305-471-TIPS. Abuse to you. Well,